Howdy, everybody. Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. Um, this is a blind playthrough. I feel like I should put this at the front of every video going forward. Um, and my sons and I work very hard to ensure that it stays just that, a blind playthrough. Uh, this is not... Um, um, a place where you're going to learn anything. This is not an educational video on how to play Red Dead Redemption 2. That's not what this is. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, videos by uh, the big-time YouTubers with who have thousands of hours playing this game um, and who will teach you uh, things. Uh, I don't watch them, you know, um, uh, because the allure, um, the attraction of this is a blind playthrough, encountering all the things that you would encounter in the game for the first time and not knowing um, what you should do. Or the easy way to do it here do this and don't do that it um, if that's what you're looking for then um, partner you're in the wrong place <laughs> okay because you will get frustrated heck I get frustrated uh, with myself um, you know and then I laugh I laugh at myself you know after the fact when I realize oh for Pete's sake you don't have those all oh, for crying out loud moments what the heck was I thinking why didn't I see that what the heck was wrong with me you know what you know um, and I call myself a knucklehead so you can call me a knucklehead you know and you can laugh with me call me a knucklehead in the comments that's fine I don't care that's fine that's that's all right that's because you're right uh, when it comes to this game I've never played this style of so I feel like maybe I should I should um, put this at the beginning of every video, um, just so that um, if somebody's here um, expecting to to uh, learn something or find out something new, uh, you're in the wrong place, son. You're in the wrong place. So um, let us um, let me get my big head out of here. Boink. Uh, it does say uh, blind playthrough on the thumbnail uh, that that my nephew made. You know, he made that thumbnail. Uh, it says that right on there, man. But, um, you know, um, there are hundreds, hundreds of videos out there by maybe even thousands of uh, people with... Um, you know, thousands of hours of experience in this game and uh, that can show you all the different twists and turns and, and, and all of that. But it, it, so why would I compete with that? Why would I try to compete with that? Um, what do we have here? 44 videos, I think. Um, you know, uh, on average, I play about two hours a day, so I've got a whopping 88 hours of experience here. So, um, 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 it's okay to be frustrated with me, man. Be frustrated. I'm, I'm frustrated with me, but I'm loving it. I'm having a blast doing this, man. So, uh, it's okay to be frustrated with me. It's okay to call me a knucklehead. That's all right, man. All right, let us see. Um, where we left Arthur off, and uh, the plan for today, uh, my plan anyway, the game always throws a wrench in that, don't they? they the, the game has a way of saying, well, well, it's so much for your plan, here's what we're going to do to you, buddy. So, um, <laughs> um, is, I need to c come in here and look at the, um, the map right off, and, and um, uh, I need to take care of the time-sensitive uh, stuff, you know, the ones that are in white, um, because they, 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 they go away. They have a tendency of going away, and I don't want to miss out on them. So um, let us begin. Uh 
I love this game, man. I really do. I am so happy that my son uh, bought this for me for Christmas. Um, and the best part of it all is this community. Um, I value this community so much. You have blessed um, me and my my sons in ways that uh, you don't know. Um, it's 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 a wonderful community, and it's a wonderful game. And um, I'm loving every minute of it. So let's look at that. See, even this, even this, one, I just, I just, I've never played this, this uh, genre of game, this, this style of game. It's, uh, it's just uh, a joy, visually, a pure joy. Look at that. Have I been there? I don't think I've seen that. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to fish, man. They keep putting in all these side missions up there, you know, and they're time sensitive. And I just want to fish. I, you know, you know, I worked hard to get um, uh, the satchel and, and to, where are we? Why am I here? What the heck? I was at the camp. Oh, no. Um, oh, I am at camp. I'm just way off. They just put me way out yonder. Why'd they put me way out yonder? Okay, so right off the bat, I can see we have uh, Leopold is white. So we do need to deal with that. Oh, and in town, Saint Denis, we have Mary. And we have Charles invited me to an art exhibit. Um, that's not uh, Charles, um, who is in the, the uh, outlaw group with us. That's the French painter guy. And we have Brother Dorkins. So... Um, oops. Albert again. With a big old, oh man, that, that happened. He's got a big old alligator. Um, on the last episode, man, I had a red skull following me around. It was a giant red skull. And, um. And I also discovered another legendary fish uh, spot, and I really want to fish, man. Um, all right, let me get, uh, let me think. Uh, so y'all take a break, because I'm going to, and figure out uh, how we want to, oh my goodness, what's this? Another one. This is why I can't fish. Capture William J. McDaniels for the Professor. So he has someone to execute. That's right. We helped this dude, man. We went out and got 100 gallons of moonshine to help him build an electric chair so he can more humanely um, kill people. Um, um, people who have, are uh, condemned to death, you know, by hanging or by you know, firing squad or whatever. And so he's, he's inventing the electric chair on us here. Um, all right. Uh, smoke them if you got them, folks. I'm going to take a break and figure out a game plan. I'll be right back at you. Thanks for watching. All right. I have a plan. You know, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, I said, I, you know, I, I usually play, a, a, you know, a couple hours a day on this, uh, but it takes um, after that, um, you know, another four hours, uh, or more to get the, the video ready for YouTube. And then, um, uh, uh, my son in Hawaii, you know, spends another two hours, you know, he's got to go through it and he, he puts all the time stamps in there. Uh, so you're looking at about eight hours of work. Uh, let me get my eyeballs. Um, 
there we go uh for each video um but you don't you don't need that that's no big deal to you map okay so let's get him going uh, first thing i always do is um try to feed him and they don't they don't want to feed him and the first game thing the game does is, is they want to put an auto save on it all right so i've got to run i was in his room upstairs when i whoa last came by milkweed if you ever picked milkweed i have uh you do not want to eat that raw <laughs> why would anybody do that ah here right away my plan gets thrown off Uh, same thing with uh, Bull Rush. I don't know if you've ever picked Bull Rush. I have. Uh, in real life, I'm talking about. Um, it looks like a corn dog. Uh, you do not want to eat that. Um, not raw. A huckleberry. Well, I'll eat a huckleberry. I'll pick some for later. So right away my uh, my plan gets thrown off because right away it's got me uh, 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 picking greenery. Look at this. Look at it all right by camp though. Um, is that why they put me out here? I, I have come to discover that the game um, kind of leads you to things um, for a reason. There was some across the uh, the way there. I can reach that. I he, yeah, he can do. He can get this. So right away, I'm off. There was stuff over there. Yeah, bull rush. There it is. Now this bull rush is this the corn dog one or the? This is more like the plant um, the plant one. The bull rush that I'm familiar with that I have picked. It, it looks like a corn dog. What do we got here? This looks more like the uh, the plant uh, version of it. I'm trying to look and see if I can see a corn dog. I don't see a corn dog. But you do not want to eat this raw. Um, and there's more over there, and there's more over there. Well, let's get into camp and we can get those others on the way out. Uh, this is the first camp we've had that has had uh, uh, goodies, you know, herbs and uh, whatnot in camp. Do I? That was an alligator right there for crying out loud. We have alligators on, on the outskirts of camp. Did I go the wrong way? I did. <laughs> I was right here. And I ran across the dang river. <laughs> give me, oh, man. What a doofus. Uh, give me a... Uh, let's head for food. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. See, there's right there. There's one of those... Um, um, oh, for Pete's sake, moments, you know. Yeah, there's camp right there. Oh, man. Dope. All right, we got all of that. Arthur going for his morning run. Keeping that cardio up, you know. All right, supplies look good. What time of day is it? Uh, I don't think they do breakfast here, man. Food isn't ready until lunch. So I'm going to I'm gonna cook something right ya. I'm going to cook my own right ya. And we are going to see Mary today, so um, I 
He needs to clean up. Man hasn't had a bath in a week. Oh, okay, another one. Get some stringy meat. Should leave. All right. Um, I'll go and check. But I know there won't be any food. Old Cookie doesn't do breakfast. Pearson. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. And Sadie just... Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Doesn't give Arthur the time of day. And Molly, I found out from the comments, thank you, um, is having a hard Morning, time. Arthur. There she is. Keeping out of mischief? Yes, unfortunately. Well, that's Karen. All right. I'll leave you to it. All right, Arthur. Um, Molly, I thought it was Molly because she wears a top like that. Um, has been um, hitting a bottle really hard and I couldn't figure out why and y'all told me um, something I had missed was that um, early on you know in the early um, who is this do I know who this is why don't I recognize her um, is, uh, she Boy, was in a, you. Abigail, she was in a relationship. Joy's not seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, she and Sean, um, uh, were, were in a romantic relationship with each other. And I, and I did not pick up on that. So she Morning, is... Morning, Arthur. Hey, Charles. She is grieving Sean's death, which was a shocker, wasn't it? Man. Do I have pelts on um, Katie Bell, a.k.a. Sugar? I do. What does she, what does she have on? We want to give these to a trapper, but these other ones, uh, so I kept it. All right, we want to hang on to the three star when we go into town, which is where we're going. We can, um, we can give these to the, the, um, the trapper, but let's, um, let's give those other ones to Pearson. See, right away, you know, you think, well, here's what I'm going to do, and you're just going to head out and do it, and uh, you don't. You know, you think, well, this will only take a minute, Mr. Pearson, and it doesn't. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> you know, now it never we'll... takes it never takes a minute. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. You know, you think you think, okay, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh wow, we got a bunch of beef. We we can't not possibly can't wait to taste this. Consume all of that before it goes bad on us, man. Um, I think that's it for you, Pearson. I hear have some stringy meat. Well, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, you will indeed. You will indeed. And I believe that's all we can give him. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome. I would really appreciate some breakfast Good one morning. of these days. You know. What do I have to do? Like bring you some cackleberries? You know? 
Eggs. Eggs. We still have the three stars on her. Man, was she a champion in that last episode, or was she a champion? She was a champion in that last episode. So what I'm, what my plan was is to do Brother Dorkin. Dorkins. So we'll head that way. And if there is a place for him to get cleaned up in town, oh, there's a barber here. Uh, we might do that. However, I might just fast travel to where I know it's easy, you know, like Valentine, because I know where that is, and it, it's easier for me to deal with Valentine. So I might just fast travel to Valentine and get her, because I don't know where he can spend the night. Uh, you know, I haven't found a, a hotel that he can check into to spend the night. I know there is one. My goodness. There has to be. So we are headed for Brother Dorkins. Yep. There was some uh, greenery out here. I thought, I guess not. Yep. Oh, you know what else we can do in town? Um, let's get him off the road so he doesn't get trampled. Easy now. Is um. Uh, get the guns maintained. Bolt action. I might have gun oil on me. Um, uh, did I not say maintained? I thought I said maintained. Take a look. Okay, so I do have some gun oil. We'll find out how much. If I can get them all cleaned. And he's glitching. Um, why is he glitching? He's too close to that tree, that's why. <laughs> It's not too bad. Um, I don't know how much gun oil I have. I was going to say I'll save it uh, for the um, for something else in worse shape if I only have one more. I don't know. This is another pet peeve. See his see his see his finger. See his trigger finger. This is a pet peeve of mine. You go to cleaning a loaded pistol and you've got your finger on the trigger. You're going to put a hole in your leg. You know, the guy doesn't have any kind of gun discipline here. You know, uh, trigger finger finger discipline. I mean, that's, you don't, you know, he's cleaning a loaded pistol. Loaded. And he's got his finger on the trigger. This isn't in bad shape, but I do want to clean it. Now his finger, is his finger on the trigger on this thing too? Little pet peeves, like that. Well, let's see if I have, I don't know that the 22 will need it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, at least his finger isn't on the trigger. All right, let's boogie. Yep. You don't have gun oil to clean this weapon. Okay, well, I got I got the important ones. The more important ones cleaned up. Oh, man. What I was saying was about that. There was this red death skull. That that appeared. Um, when I, I you know I, I I went on that wild ride uh, through San Denis, San Denis and uh, right off the bat. Somebody, please help me. I'm coming. Hey you, please, gotta help me. 
What happened? Did you get bit time, by a snake? I got away, but they got my wife. Please. What? Man. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> Investigate the okay. shack. Go on, see if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. He's got uh, blood on him. I go about finding more help. Uh, okay, so we just picked up a side mission that I was not help. anticipating. Somebody like I said, the game says you got a plan, old boy. Well, let me tell you okay, something, old girl. son. We got a plan of our own, and you ain't gonna yeah. like it. Well, I like it, but I mean, it's gonna be different what than are you what you. Me for? I'm finding your wife. I just, just hold on. Hold your horses. The man had blood on his shirt. What was that? I got alligators on me. Hang in there, girl. Whoa, whoa, easy. Is this... I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, just kill me. Oh, Lord. I'd rather die than look at you for one more second. The hell? You can't... Coming. I, I just want to get some money first. I got a silver belt buckle. I'll be right there, honey. I, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I promise. I will. Who were these guys? They're just strangers. Sorry I weren't here sooner. You're welcome. You saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. <laughs> Would Sorry. you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want to rotten indoors. I've got an X out here. He's just going to... Oh, that's the other body. Uh, let's dump them in the <laughs> river. <laughs> Just one more. Yes, ma'am. You don't ever have to lay eyes on them again. <laughs> Alligator bait. Where's your man? Your man went to get the law. That's right. in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Um, I don't want to take her money, man. What? Where did she say it was? I don't want, you know what? These people are poor enough and they had, where is it at? Over here. I don't want to take her money, man. I'm not going to take your money, honey. Am I? I have to take her money? Where'd she say it was? See, I wasn't paying attention. Um, I, I don't want to take her money. Oh, a sack. Oh, she hid it. She she hid it under the wheat. Fifty dollars. Appreciate it. 
Good luck to you. I, I, you know, there was no need to do that. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. Horace. They need that $50 a lot more than I do. Whose horse is that? Right, let's get on to uh, what was I doing? Yeah. Brother, um, Dorkin, Dorkins. She was, um, oh, there's a snake. Um, can I use a 20? I should be able to use a 22 on a snake. But this game seems to want you to use a bow. couldn't mark it. Uh, can you not mark? <laughs> not real excited about going through there. Yeah. We did not kill it. You know what? We can we we can leave the bow. seeing that um, yeah. yeah she almost died did get about aka sugar she almost died, man. She hung in there, and we escaped. Um, through the river. Hey there, mister. And that's where I saw... This red looks like a fine traveling companion. Well, she sure is, mister. Thank you. And it was um sort of tracking me. Why are those it's a two? There's a three. Um, it was right. It was on the other side of that, that, um, other side over here. Because, uh, we ran, we ran out of town. I escaped into the water to escape them and made camp here. She barely made it here without running out of, 
uh, breath. And then in the morning, we left and came across here, and there was a giant red skull uh, thing moving around back here. I never did get to see what it was. And don't tell me. Um, I'll, I'll find out. Um, but... Yeah. What is that? And why is it just running free like that? What do we get here? Spoonbill. Another snake. It was on the other side of the bridge over there. Apparently, I have killed a spoonbill before because we didn't add it to the compendium, but I don't know, do not remember doing that. Yeah. I haven't checked that out yet either. Sorry, buddy. I don't know if a three-star spoon bill is a thing, but yep. I have one. <laughs> we'll bring that to the uh, trapper too. We're headed for. We're headed. Headed his direction anyway. Is lunchtime. How do you do, sir? I tried to greet him. Hey there, partner. How do you do? Um, we're getting close. This is a stranger. What happened to Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's still a ways away. Um, well, let's check him. Um, shoot, Mary actually comes up before him. It didn't. Hold up, bloody bastards! Why do I waste my time? Why? Um, I don't know why. Why do you waste your time? You okay, bud? Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. Well, what are I'm you? I'm trying to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> I don't think that means what you think it means. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. <laughs> it is demonstration <laughs> of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. 
Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, enchanté, my hello, hello, sir. Is this supposed okay. to be Tesla? Uh, how is the piles? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, my friends, you are about to witness history. No. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Not. Maybe uh, good salesman. I can make you immortal. Immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like hey, a buffoon hey, is hey, a hey. stupid. I watched them conspire, right, you morons. <laughs> You're asking. I never it. met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? <laughs> so, Professor. Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Oh, no. It is easy. Oh, no. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this. <laughs> I, I resemble that remark. Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Um, um, change camera, change, uh, uh, steer. Uh, what, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, change camera. Um, LT. What am I aiming at? I don't know what he's aiming at. Uh, steer. Accelerate. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Carefully. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. There, all gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. Next, he will show you the moving docks. Well, what? All right. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> moving? This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. 
No, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey! You really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good! Now bring in the boat back here. Even little boats can sink, okay? Please! Watch the mine. Foolproof! Undeniably foolproof! But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. And was this not <laughs> difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult for me. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. Tesla, that this might will be Tesla. Astound huh? all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Mm, Tesla. Um, <laughs> I hope you will forgive my European course. In the Balkans, we are a man of... That was a hoot. She? Was she in there with me? Oh, she was. That was fun. Uh, hey there, partner. Greetings. Uh, how far do we have to go? I think we have quite a ways. Hey, partner. Let's mount up. Sights. Hello, sir. Hey, mister. Yeah, I didn't realize we're gonna go right past Mary. Or are we? It's hard to tell. Hey, mister. Hello. Mister. Hello. Well, we've already got the track set for Brother Dorkins, so we'll just stay on it. Sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Come on. The latest shipments is long overdue. The investors are still out of here. Well, we out of Yeah, we go right past Mary. Well, Hello. we need to get cleaned up before we go see Arthur. her. Arthur! Arthur! Well, up here! So much for that. You came! Yeah, I came. So, uh, 
What do you need? I was gonna clean Wait him up there. first. I'm coming straight down. I should have went around the block. I was gonna get him all cleaned up first. There we go. <laughs> Arthur. Mary. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not... He was thinking she wanted him, you know, to come to her and it would be the two of them. And then he said, no, she wanted him to help his her father. And I don't blame him for being irritated and disappointed about that. Oh, she didn't mean to do that. Kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Yeah. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is—it's well, not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind be to me. No. Please. You're using him. I'm sorry. And not I the way am... he wants to be used. He would love it if she'd use him the right I way. I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Didn't. Past oh, tense. Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Oh, Lord. Please. You came Come home. along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. She's using him. You wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. All right. Completely different feeling than the first time they met. Now she is using him. And she's talking about love in past tense. But it is not past tense to Arthur. He never stopped loving her. She stopped loving him. 
Smoke them if you got them. I'm taking a break. Can you believe it? A video game, a video game could could get me angry. <laughs> that's a good video game. That's that's a good story, man. But I was just outside there, and I just come back in, and uh, and I was saying, did you ever hear the song um, "Down in the Boondocks"? I think Billy Joe Royal. I love her. She loves me, but I don't belong in her society. People put me down because that's the side of town. I was, so he's is, Arthur's from down in the boondocks. She's up in high society, uh, but that's not the problem. That is not the problem. You can work that out. Uh, you know, you stand up to her father, but in this case, it's not her father he needs to stand up to. He needs to stand up to her. He needs to stand up for himself to her. Um, because she's using him and disrespecting him, and she no longer loves him. And uh, he's doing, you know, he wants to keep it going. You know, he wants to keep that past, that past love and feeling going. But she has lost it. She has lost that love and feeling. And I think, I mean, this could turn, I don't know. And um, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, so you can try hard to salvage uh, a relationship, but there comes a point where you got to get to thinking about self-preservation. She is, she's selfish, um, but uh, you got to think about yourself. And there comes a time when you got to you got to cut her free. But you don't cut her. It's not her that you're cutting free. It's yourself. He needs to cut himself free. He needs to cut himself loose. Um, for his sake. Anyway, that, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it plays. Hell. Her daddy's in trouble. And no men in her life are man enough to handle it. Except Arthur. really isn't in her life anymore. So she will use him. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. I don't want to bump into stuff. It's all good. Calm down. Let's get past this guy. Yeah, see what I mean? touched in the head, and I just touched you in the butt with my horse. I'm mad. A video game has made me mad. I'm mad because Arthur is, um, well, he has a weakness for her, doesn't he? But like I say, there comes a time when you have to, what happened? I took too long? Failed. You didn't get to Mr. Gillis in time. Oh, gosh. I didn't know it was time, game. I didn't know, game. <laughs> I asked Boogie. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Get yourself free, Arthur. Get yourself free. You can't stand there. Why? What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Oh, I love that. What a Why? Cool. I said, just get out of here. Yeah! Listen, partner, 
I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. So good. So if I good. wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my old wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I have no unwell. such thing. Hold on a second. That delivery, that whole scene, uh... That delivery of those lines, that, that, that the acting there was so good. Get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Of course. Follow Mr. again. This way. Am I supposed to follow her? How can I take the lead? Hey, stop a second. You're too close. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Don't lose sight of him. Oh, I just did. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. I was going to, I was going to, you just... He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Arthur. Drop back a bit or he'll see you. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money, and should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. 
Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that, don't you? Man? Oh, great. Another one of these where I gotta run and find somebody. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. I needed the horse. This is gonna fail. This will fail. before it gives me the retry. Mister, can I borrow a horse? Can I borrow a horse here? Yeah. I need a horsey. Try. 
Good grief! This is gonna go on forever. Okay, here's the whole video right here. If I don't come by a horse I can jump on. This is OVA, OVA. Come on! Give me a retry. Thank you. Jeez Louise. All right, let's get the horse this time. God damn it. Here's one. All right, stop that coach. Get back here. Good girl. You hear me? Stop that damn coach. Stop right now. Wish I had my horse. My horse is faster than this. Oh, crap. Come on. to a secluded spot. Yeah. You can't do this. I lost. I lost that brooch fair and square. The yellow there. It is. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. <sighs> How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not uh, good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Kitty Bell. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, 
got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. No. Say Head no. to the theater, perhaps. Say no. Uh, oh, I have the opportunity. Um, she's just putting her hooks in deeper. That's all she's doing. You see the body language. She didn't touch him when they were walking. I mean, if she was interested in him, for him, and for them, I mean, she'd have touched him. She'd have, she'd have touched his arm. She'd have held his hand. Something. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This is where, man, if you're ever in a situation like this, and I understand, I understand it's hard, and it hurts, but and, and you want to do everything you can to try to save a relationship, but there comes a point where you got to cut yourself free by cutting her loose. Uh, and that's where we're at here. Because um, all she's doing now is she wants to get the hooks in deeper for the next time. So I think for the purposes of the game, I will accept. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll Manipulated. always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, fine. So, shut up there and act go. like now a gentleman, see? or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. It's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. See, he can't win with her. Come on. He can't win. Let's go find our win. seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Oh, hold it. Um, We're supposed to get part of the gate. Right for 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 uh, uh, bringing back uh, 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 a magnifico. Is this is this them? Is this their act? And so we'll get we'll get we'll get part of the gate. A percentage of the uh, ticket sales. I don't know. Thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of How entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you of in a rush? The greatest <laughs> show ever assembled. Prepare. For the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you That's to it. dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Get off the stage! Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Thank you for 
for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Go away. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh. Stop it.
Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the oh, best of it. Enchanting! <sighs> <laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> Not touching him. Didn't take his arm. My life wasn't supposed to. Okay. See. Oh. No. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Yeah. I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I, if anyone close to me, well, they're wanted too, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Whoa. Run away right now and don't Whoa. look back. Okay. I want to. That's a turn. More than anything, I want to. Okay, that's a turn. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Okay, okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. I was wrong. I was wrong. All right. She wanted to run away and marry him. I was wrong. I was wrong. I... trying to get to uh, Brother Dorkins, and we ran across Mary first. Okay, I was wrong. Take a ride. Where's my horse? Hey, partner. I was wrong, okay. I was being too hard on her. She was just keeping her distance and she was uh, using him like she always does, but he's the right man for the job. And there at the end, she's saying run away and Run away with me and get married. I mean, all right, all right, all right. I was wrong. Hey, friend. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, mister. Hello, mister. Okay, there. Howdy. Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. 
You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool. But he's a fool. Yeah. Usually he's the best man I know. That's Not wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. Oh. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Pawnbroker. So. Even impossible. Welcome back. Okay, oh, what do you have? Any hope? All right. I'm wondering why he only has one. Oh, there we go. Now he's got both pistols. For a minute, he only had one, Even. one pistol. Have a good night, sir. Row five, precious cruiser, right here. Folks. Good evening, sir. Ma'am. Well, good evening, Mister. This guy is selling people. Hi there, mister. A few Search for to clues. Rise. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? Yeah, the people you're selling. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Um, oh. They made me do it, I swear. Oh, shut up. This is my brother's store. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Oh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Quién es? Soy yo. Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Claro. Ayúdanos. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Quién eres? Soy Arthur. Por favor. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Mm. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Don't worry, nada, amigo. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. Beat the crap out of this guy up here, or I get in trouble. That's it. Come on, you'll be safe soon. He ran.
This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres, si eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Yo soy mi hijo Fufu, se un sangre. Sí. I got fresh vegetables for sale here. Out there. How can I help? Glad to see you again, sir. <sighs> Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. No. I could not have freed these men don't myself. Don't take it. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. take care of Leopold but um, smoke them if you got them break time all right I'm back let's get oh you know what uh, there's a uh, trapper in here let's see if the horse is close enough uh, hey, mister. to allow me Oh, he yeah, just gone. found out Daisy was a whore back east no, and called off the wedding. Partner? Hey, no, sir. See if the horse is close enough. Back off for soon. Okay, let's take a look at it. Get rid of these three star pelts to him. I hope you make good use of that. Nothing quite like wearing your those. best day's work. Reinforced equipment. Um. Hello, sir. Don't work too hard now. You worry about yourself. Oh, it changes his um gun belt. Every one of my garments is a little different, because every pelt is a little different. You'll find them nowhere else. Could have done that one. Can't do any of these, apparently. That was it. Garment sets. <laughs> I wish I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish <laughs> country folk had any damn money. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Beast of prey. Ooh. Death roll. That's kind of cool. We think this one? Or this one? You young bucks have it easy down here in the south. I once tracked a bad-tempered moose four days across an ice sheet just to eat a square meal. That's kind of cool, actually, right there. I, I could probably just get one. So is that. So is that. Wow. Um... The 
Dakota. It's locked. Well, they're all locked. Uh. Well. Boy, they're all locked. I still need stuff. I can buy this. Oh, the things I'd do if I had your youth. These days I'm I like more it. We'll less. buy it. My old man was right. Sneaks up on you. Apparently, I can't do any of that. Sure. No. Things have been kind of tough. Howdy. 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 If you have an order to make, make it now. <coughs> hey. You holding up? Out of the way, please. Hey. Another uh, BD, Brother Dorkins. Um, well, let's do that while we're here. Happens time to time. Let's go, bro. Hey, mister. Um, if there was a hotel somewhere, we could take a bath and shave and haircut and all that. Look at this, though. An upside down M. I, I don't get it. Oh, you will. It, it's like swimming. It takes time. But then it's easy. And the whole world opens to you. I hate this. It's too hard. Take your time. <sighs> I lick. I lick. Like. Like. I like. Me gusta. The soon. Sooner. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Summer. Summer. I Hello like there. this. Sister. My friend. Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, uh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop. Oh, no. This kid's to the worst. Don't hurt him, please. Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Where'd Morgan. Where'd he go? Another runner in the night. Man. You little bastards. Oh. Ooh, where? 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 Dang it. Where is he? You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank you. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you! 
Get your hands off of that boy right now. He stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your head in that wall. All right, all right. Forget it. Little shit ain't worth it. Thanks, mister. You got lucky this time, kid. Pick up. Pick up what? The crucifix. Where is it? Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? What? Not you. She's the... Help. I mean, uh, help. Uh, 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 help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now, what? Someone help me. Officer, help. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. You goddamn moron, goodness! Get me out of here. There's a lead. Can't get out that way. Wait, what the? Can I, I get out of here? Got it! To get to the axe, what do I have to do? Find Sister Calderon. Morning, friend. Hey there, girl. Is this a um... you're okay, girl? Time deal? No, it's not time. It can't be. It says there's a bounty. Father, sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine physically, mentally he's a piece of work. But who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother know. Dorkins is greatly deceived. I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but. My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. So don't have a bounty on me. Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was... Thick. Oh, wow, um, okay, now we can, oh, wait a minute, I got a bounty on me all over the place, um,
Well, he's right around the corner. Hello. Let's get. And I have a bounty on me. Side. No, he's down here. Horse. <laughs> um. Ah, <laughs> uh, where is he? Good morning to you, Mister. Good morning. show if that's search possible. the gallery for Charles it's a free show so don't come asking for a refund what's this show then mr. Charles Chatternay go and see for yourself I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all just wait until you see his work it's very progressive well I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression paintings or otherwise come on you won't have seen the like of it before I think that it's Greek. Morning to you. Hold on. Let me compose myself. Morning, oh. lady. Could be Roman. There he Far is. too modern for my taste. That's him. Mr. Chardonnay. Look at these idiots. Uh, it's making me blush. Excuse me, Mr. Chardonnay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? <laughs> Madame. I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. What? Her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Why would you be shown it to oh that my gosh. That's my mom. <laughs> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she <laughs> should have exposed herself like that. This is disgusting. <laughs> the nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> Come on, hey This is no place for us. Come here, Come here. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? <laughs> you keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. 
Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. <laughs> you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> That's it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah. So he, uh, Never mind. Well, you saw it. You know what it is. Oh, my goodness. Um, Fine morning to you. Same to you. Morning to you. Wow. Okay, then, girl. Okay. Um, still trying to get back to camp. Um, looks like we cleared this out. I do have a bounty on me. That sucks. Um, if we can get out of here and um, make camp. Um, hold on. Uh, where is he? I'm there. I'm right here. Uh, uh huh. I'm just, that was fun. Uh, um, let's just head out. Uh, let's head out this way. We can, um, oh, we still have uh, Albert. Let's head out this way, and then we can make camp and uh, fast travel uh, back to camp, to main camp. And uh, let's see what Strauss has what for us. To me? If I can get out of here without encountering any bounty hunters. Out where we can make camp and fast travel back to main camp. Um, cannot do it here. not eaten for quite some time.
can't make coffee? Must be out. Stop here, girl. enough for me. Mr. Morgan! The people are happy and well-fed. I think perhaps we'll be okay. Here's hoping, Pearson. And perhaps we shall make it to the sea after all. <laughs> How I miss it. It's flatness. <laughs> Good morning. Um... Anything to donate. Actually, I'll come back to you later, okay? And of course, dinner's not ready. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. Karen, <laughs> Karen is the one. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. It was Karen who had the relationship with um, Sean. I misspoke and said Molly earlier in the video. I'm just going to let him rest. And... Um, See if we have time to um, do another one. And there is an exclamation point in his ruin. Ruin? <laughs> um, oh, the exclamation point is in the next room. All right. Um, just gonna sleep. Hopefully. said sleep. There we are. Uh, let me sleep till morning. And let me check how long this is so far and whether or not we're going to do some more. I wanted to do some more, but we kind of got into some other things. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, y'all. All right, so I think we have enough time. We're at a, right about at two hours right now. And um, I've got time to do, I think we can do one more. If it's quick, nothing's quick. You know, every time I think something's just going to take a minute or two, or, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it takes a lot longer. Uh... So I think for what we have 
on the uh, on our plate here. He can't walk fast. Um, Mary Beth. is the place I want to go because there's little um, this is the ice queen here. You all there right she there. is. Morning, Arthur. The ice queen. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Pearson. Um, Mary Beth has got a um, There's a picture of somebody tied up on a bed. <laughs> Having coffee with the Ice Queen. Hi, Reverend. Hello there. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. All right, Arthur. See you later, Ice Queen. All right, Mary Beth, what is going Hello, on? Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? And nothing. You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, what? we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers uh -oh. she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman what? brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Whoa! Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Me and Miss Grimshaw. I'll tell you on the way. Oh, I thought it'd be Mary Just Beth. Keep going. I thought this was a Mary Beth mission. What do we do? All right, head for Rhodes and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, cool. just west of there. I missed who it was. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson Tilly. isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. Oh. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. Is if this, they uh... touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? Well, you do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course All the way I back in chapter one. All you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. Chapter you one. Fish. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yep. Uh, there was a guy hassling Tilly in the alley. I'll deal with him. Chapter one. Whoa. 
what you want. Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said Whoa. your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find Miss our girl. Shaw. What the hell? What the hell? It's okay, Mr. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. I did that really well, didn't I? Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs>
gotta go to the X. Good thing we bonded with this horse quickly. Huh? Appaloosa, nice one. Ooh, wow, so pretty. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? Nope. I'm Anthony Foreman. Good well, to thanks you. for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Get up. I'm not going. To this X. Off me, funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna... Cow. What are you gonna do with me, you coward? All right, all right, damn it. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. <laughs> um, a horse? So he's still alive then? Ah, oops. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bat. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. No, no, and thrice no. So that's that. Girl. I have a new horse, apparently. So. 
that'll be it for this episode. We will do um, um, Leopold. We'll start with Leopold on the next one. He'll still be there because he's in camp. I do need to pay this bounty off, though. Um, and I believe we can do that right here. Yep. So let's get that paid off. Um, it's a lot closer than... Why can't I just go straight to it? Is it is it too steep? Where, where's my axe? Why can't I just go straight to it? I'm not even seeing my axe on it. This bounty paid off. Um, fast, fast travel back to camp, or maybe just take the train. I can't take the train. Morning. Fine day to you. And that'll be the end of the video. Ah, oh, welcome back, sir. Got some bills to pay, huh? Sir, good morning. Farewell. All right, back to work, you slobs. So I think we would have to make camp and then fast travel home. Okay, girl. Does this horse stay with me? It can't. I mean, I have, uh, I think I have all the horses I'm allowed to have. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stay here. Um, I'm gonna stay here because he could use. I mean, is there a? a ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. You always was, was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip. 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 But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the dark evil. Morning, partner. I thought there was a hotel. This is Rhodes. Isn't there? Oh, yeah, there's, there it is. Morning, partner. A very good morning to you. Let's put him down here and end the episode. Morning, partner. Hey, Sheriff. That dandy who works good at the train you, station sir. sure does enjoy the Hello. company of other gentlemen. How do you do? Good morning to you. Hey, fellas. Nice people around here. Mm-hmm. Um, can I eat? Mister? I want to eat. What is it? I'm standing. You need to lay off the prairie moon gin, Martha. Give me another one. More woods of wisdom. How special fried catfish. Stamp. How you do? <laughs> you sure wolf that down. No, I'm gonna stand. I stand. You just have the sweetest smile. Why, you are too kind. Can I get a hot bath, please? Man, that's one over you'll a week. You'll feel renewed in no time. 
Uh, it's upstairs. Uh, I'll take a room. I'd well. like a room, please. Turns out a con man hustled the Gordon family out of most of all their inheritance. Hi, uh, folks. Hello. As I recall, they're both upstairs. That beast of a nag changed owners again. Folk keep trying to tame it, but it keeps throwing them. Excuse me, Martin. Well, that is no surprise. Hello. No cards. I heard about a pair of robberies going on. You need some help in here? Yeah, okay. Sure. Very well. Relax and I'll do my best. Happy Valentine's Day. Might not even recognize yourself after this. I'll have you looking dandy real soon. <sighs> you gotta treat yourself sometimes, I reckon. Yes, certainly. So how's it going? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm going to get much cleaner than this. Thank you. Goodbye now. I'll see you soon. I guess his room is downstairs, all right. You, madam, are also to impress this one. So we will put him to bed. In the episode, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry. No. I did. I have a blast playing this game. And I thank you so much for watching. I will just sleep until morning. And um, I do appreciate it very much. So y'all take care of yourselves. And we'll see you on the next one. Uh, we'll we'll get Leopold. I'll probably start off with Leopold on the next one. Let me make sure I can get a save in here. Um, I can. it all out that'll do it for today like I said I do appreciate you watching uh, take care of yourselves and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>